Phoenix police are taking precautions following a string of violent attacks against law enforcement across the country, including two right here in Phoenix. Team 12's Josh Sanders spoke with the police department about changes that they're making to keep officers safe. From Los Angeles to Phoenix, those wearing the badge on edge following a string of ambush style attacks. In my career, both as a DPS officer and now as a U.S. Marshal, never seen anything like this. In the span of just one week, a gunman opening fire on two L.A. sheriff deputies, then one outside the Sandra Day O'Connor courthouse hitting a U.S. Marshal, and a third involving a 17-year-old armed with an AK-47 firing at a DPS trooper. Phoenix Police Chief Jerry Williams is adding an extra layer of security for her officers. They will now patrol the streets of Phoenix in pairs. Another set of eyes that helps is obviously what this two-person unit is all about. Phoenix PD says on any given day there are 2,000 units on patrol. Michael London, president of the Phoenix Police Union, PLEA, worries that pairing up officers will impact the department's response to calls for service. It may last a month uh, before we have to go back to single-person patrols. Uh, it's just not sustainable. However, PPD says this decision is about the safety of everyone. We're going to monitor. We're going to see how response times are affected, if any, if, if they are affected. Uh, again, our, our goal is to keep our community safe, keep ourselves safe so that we could do the job that we signed up to do. And the pairing of officers isn't mandatory, but the department is strongly encouraging them to team up. We're in downtown Phoenix, Josh Sanders, 12 News.